Welcome to Malwarebytes 3.0 Enzone Malware Detection Video Review, courtesy of Best Antivirus Reviews. We are gonna download and install Malwarebytes 3.0 in free trial mode and test it against our zero-day malware private collection. So how do you get infected? Uh, let's talk about the most common ways uh, that malware file penetrates your PC. In this example, you can see email from Total Gas Corporation with invoice file attachment. But if you look on the sender domain that you can see here, you will see it is from netsend.biz that has nothing in common with Total Gas. So when you will open the attachment, you will be infected with a malware. Uh, one more example that we can see here is a Facebook chat with a friend that send you a link and uh, when you click on it, it will re redirect you to a site that is hosting a malware file. Another way you can be infected with AdWord type of malware is by installing a software that pretend to fix a PC problem, but at the same time use a Trojan horse approach to infest your PC with unwanted applications. Let's talk about types and infection method of malware. We can divide this slide to three parts. The first one is uh, infection method, or how did we get the malware in the first place? Uh, as you can see, we have computer virus, worm, Trojan horse, and exploits. All of them can lead to the infection method. Uh, the second part is uh, malware that focus on black hat marketing like spam or adware. And the last part is the most common uh, cybercrime, stealing your data or trying to get your money. Ransomware infection, uh, this is probably the most uh, common malware infection that we see on a daily basis for the last two years. Uh, our guess that uh, this epidemic is not going to disappear in the near future. For example, uh, this uh, server uh, ransomware encrypt all your fa personal files and uh, demand a Bitcoin payment in order to release uh, your files and uh, decrypt your data. So what we are going to do in this uh, protection hands-on test, we have a private zero-day malware collection that we collect by monitoring traffic on several ISP gateways. Uh, we will trigger a manual scan on a selected folder that contains 1000 malware. And the ultimate goal is that the tested software will recognize all the files and quarantine the infected files. So instead of seeing uh, 1000 files on this folder, we should see eventually zero. For example, if we will go to virus total and try to choose one of, of, of the files in, in this folder and scan it, you will see that most antivirus software recognize this file as a malware. Um, of course, you can find some that will not recognize it, but you can see which one do recognize it and in which date they recognize this file as a malware. Let's talk about how antivirus signature engine is working. Each time you update your antivirus definition, one of the things that are being updated is the signature database. This signature uh, includes aggregated data of many uh, MD5 signatures. Uh, the MD5 signature is a string contains number and letters that can only represent one file. So if we will go to an online service, that can take a file and generate an MD5 string from this file. We can copy this file and again search 
for one item on virus total. As you can see, this MD5 string generate only one malware. So now let's go on with the hands-on test. Uh, we are gonna install Malwarebytes 3.0, update virus definition, and conduct a manual scan on the infected folder. So we will download the free download at Malwarebytes website. Here you can see the file size and let's start with the installation process. We will use all default, set, default setting. And uh, as you can see the installation is quite fast. The footprint of the program is uh, very small. And the installation is finished. We will enable full-time protection and let's do an update. You can see the update is in progress. And as soon as the update will finish, we can start the test. Okay, that's all. It was very fast. Software is updated. And now we can go to the infected folder. Here it is with 1000 files. Right click on the folder and select scan with malware bytes. The scan is in proce progress. Uh, I will use fast forward. Okay, we are back. As you can see, the software Malwarebytes detected 426 threads and it is asking me what should I do with the files. I will leave everything on a default quarantine selected. Okay, the scan is finished. Malwarebytes is asking me to reboot the computer, but because none of the software were actually installed on the computer, there, there is really no need to do that. As you can see, 426 items were detected and moved to quarantine, but still we can find in the folder 574 items. So th this this gives us a 33% detection rate. It's not so uh, high, but in the review itself we will talk about it. Uh, what what's the meaning of of the, this ratio? And now we can do a small check. We will open Virus Total and choose one of the file, files that left on the folder, scan it, and as you can see, a file is left on the folder, still being detected as a malware with many of the other uh, antivirus vendors. We suggest that you, on your online research, you use Best Antivirus Reviews Lab Score Aggregation Tool. We have thousands of lab tests in one search tool that can help you find what is the best antivirus software. You go to the tool, choose your platform, the relevant time frame of the test. We suggest using two years and your operation system and press the calculate 
button. It will immediately calculate what is the best antivirus software um, according to thousands of uh, lab tests available on the internet. You can see the labs from the new one to the old one from several separate laboratories. Thank you for watching this video review. Please don't forget to visit us for all your online security needs, reviews, lab tests and comparative information.